All right, so we're going to get started with our first ready math lesson, and we're going to start off with learning about volume. And we'll go over the basics of what volume is, how to find it, and go over the homework lesson that's attached to that. The first thing to know is that volume is the amount of space inside of a solid figure. So it's basically measures how much something can hold or how much something is in it. So you're in a room right now. All the space inside the room you're in right now would be considered the volume of that room. If you have a water bottle or a glass of milk or something there, the measure of volume is how much that container or that thing can hold. So keep that in mind. When we talk about volume, we're basically talking about how much space is inside of something. So volume is measured with these things called unit cubes. And a cube is a three-dimensional square. A square, as you know, has all equal sides. So the same thing applies here to our unit cube. It's got an equal side uh, of height and width and length. And basically just remember that every side on a unit cube is exactly the same and that a unit cube is used to measure volume. So open up your textbook to page four and we'll basically go over some notes here. You're welcome to pause the video to get your book if you don't have it right there with you. Go right ahead. All right, so on page four, you'll notice this first figure here. It says, look at the solid figure below and what is the volume in cubic units? Well, finding the volume this way is very simple. You All you have to do is, call, is count up the unit cubes, which are listed here. So we could count them individually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Or use your multiplication trick of going 1, 2, 3, 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4. And you can do 4 times 4, which is 16. So whatever works best for you. Um, you can go ahead and count them up individually or use that technique with multiplication. So for this one, write down in your book that the volume equals 16 cubic units. The second figure is a little more challenging because we've got a different layer here. So um, the easiest way to do this is we should count up the unit cubes for this one slice right here. And then we know that this is going to be an equal slice over there, even though we can't see all of the cubes in the figure. So let's just focus on this first slice here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in one slice. You can think of it like a loaf of bread. And this slice has nine, and this slice here has nine. So we know nine cubic, nine unit cubes plus nine unit cubes here is 18 cubic units. So the answer for this one, the volume equals 18 cubic units. Let's look at this one. So let's think of this as kind of like a layer cake where it's got a top layer and then a bottom layer. And let's count up the unit cubes for this top layer. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six unit cubes in this top layer. So we know that that also means there's six in the bottom. So we have six plus six, and the volume equals 12 cubic units for this solid figure. So far, so good. One left. And this one, we notice, is just very similar to the other one, except they've got a little extra here. So let's do it just like we did the last one. Let's think of it like a layer cake or a birthday cake with two layers. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight layers here, or eight unit cubes here on this layer, and eight here in this bottom layer. So eight plus eight is 16. So our volume equals 16 cubic units. So your homework assignment will be fairly simple. It'll You'll be given a figure just like, like many of these, and you just have to simply count them up by layer or by slice, just how I did that and it should give you the answers for those. So your homework, it's going to be uh, logging into IXL and you go in through your, your uh, Oneana school website to do that, log in with Google, but you will go down to section DD and that will be called geometric measurement and look for a little gold star that I'll put up 
there to mark which one I'd like you to do. It'll be number 13 called Volume of Rectangular Prisms Made into Unit Cubes until you reach 70%, which will be your bronze medal. So once you do that, you should be all set and I'll be able to check it from my end. If you have any questions, you're welcome to come to my office hours and we'll go over it then. All right, good luck.